In this podcast episode, Dr. Mark Hyman, a leading doctor in functional medicine, discusses the problematic nature of the current dairy industry and the misconceptions surrounding milk consumption. He emphasizes the importance of understanding the impact of food on our health and the need for education to make informed choices. Functional medicine, as explained by Dr. Hyman, focuses on identifying the root causes of chronic diseases rather than just treating symptoms. It involves looking at the body as a system and understanding why certain health issues arise. This approach emphasizes personalized treatment based on individual biology and lifestyle factors. Dr. Hyman stresses the importance of food in maintaining optimal health. He discusses how the modern food landscape, filled with processed and addictive foods, contributes to the rise in metabolic dysfunction and chronic diseases. He advocates for a shift towards whole, unprocessed foods to improve overall health. He emphasizes that eating real food doesn't have to be expensive and that education is key to making informed decisions about food. Dr. Hyman acknowledges the challenges of maintaining a healthy diet in a society where unhealthy food options are readily available. He discusses the importance of planning ahead, especially in situations where making healthy choices may be difficult. He also highlights the role of stress, sleep deprivation, and other factors that can influence food choices. Dr. Hyman is actively involved in advocating for policy changes to promote healthier food options. He mentions a proposed bill in Congress that aims to limit the availability of ultra-processed foods for children using food stamps. He emphasizes the need for political will to address the root causes of poor dietary habits and improve public health. Dr. Hyman sheds light on the misconceptions surrounding milk consumption, particularly in the United States. He mentions the infamous Got Milk ads that promoted milk as a perfect food for building better bones and overall health. However, he points out that the claims made in these ads were not supported by scientific evidence. The dairy industry's influence on government agencies and dietary guidelines is also highlighted, with Dr. Hyman emphasizing the need for a more science-driven approach to nutrition. Dr. Hyman also mentions that there is evidence linking milk consumption to an increased risk of cancer. He states that milk can cause prostate cancer and that there is higher risk of fracture in high milk drinkers. Additionally, he mentions that milk can cause autoimmune diseases like type 1 diabetes and common allergies or food sensitivities. He suggests that current dairy products, especially those from modern industrialized sources, may not be beneficial for health and could potentially have negative effects, including an increased risk of cancer. Dr. Hyman discusses the rise of Ozempic, a drug that was first approved for diabetes but has shown significant weight loss effects as a side effect. He mentions that it works by acting on a pathway called glucagon-like peptide 1, which regulates insulin function, weight, and appetite. Although the drug has some metabolic benefits, it also has serious side effects, such as bowel obstruction and pancreatitis. He highlights that the drug is not a long-term solution for obesity and that it does not address the root causes of weight gain, which are related to our lifestyle, food system, lack of exercise, and environmental toxins. He also mentions that the drug is expensive, can cause muscle loss, and may have long-term negative effects on metabolism. He emphasizes the importance of addressing the underlying issues causing obesity rather than relying on drugs like Ozempic. Dr. Hyman delves into the benefits of fasting, citing the importance of giving the body a break from constant food consumption. He explains how fasting activates the body's repair and renewal systems, leading to improved blood sugar control, reduced inflammation, and cellular cleanup. He recommends a fasting window of 12 to 14 hours between dinner and breakfast to optimize these health benefits. He also discusses the evolutionary perspective on fasting, highlighting its role in our ancestors' survival during periods of feast and famine. The concept of blue zones, regions in the world known for longevity and health, is explored by Dr. Hyman. He shares his experiences visiting blue zones like Okinawa, Japan, and Sardinia, where he observed the lifestyle habits of centenarians. These individuals lead active lives, consume phytochemical-rich foods, and have low levels of stress. Dr. Hyman emphasizes the significance of community in promoting health and longevity. 
He shares his experience of meeting a family in Sicily who runs a restaurant using produce from their farm. The family cooks together, celebrates together, and supports each other, creating a strong sense of belonging and connection. Dr. Hyman highlights the detrimental effects of loneliness and isolation in modern society, citing studies that equate loneliness to smoking two packs of cigarettes a day. He stresses the need for building communities, fostering relationships, and creating a sense of belonging to combat the loneliness epidemic. According to Dr. Hyman, having a sense of purpose and meaning in life is a key factor in longevity. He mentions a study that shows individuals with meaning and purpose in their lives live seven years longer. He shares his personal purpose of ending needless suffering for millions of people through innovative health solutions. He advocates for designing one's life around values, passions, and goals to create a fulfilling and purposeful existence. Dr. Hyman delves into the impact of trauma on health and well-being. He discusses the Adverse Childhood Experiences Questionnaire, which links childhood trauma to various health issues in adulthood. He shares his own experience of overcoming trauma, including childhood sexual abuse and a challenging relationship with his mother. He emphasizes the importance of addressing trauma to improve mental and physical health, citing the role of psychedelics in treating conditions like PTSD and addiction. Dr. Hyman discusses the emerging field of psychedelic therapy and its potential in healing trauma and promoting mental health. He shares his involvement in a psychedelics company and the research on compounds like MDMA and psilocybin for treating various mental health conditions. He highlights the transformative effects of psychedelics in changing brain function and addressing deep-seated emotional issues. Protein plays a crucial role in building muscle, which is essential for longevity. Dr. Hyman advises consuming 30 to 40 grams of protein per meal, especially in the morning, to support muscle growth and maintenance. He also highlights the importance of eating regeneratively raised meat, as it is a nutrient-dense source of protein. While there is ongoing debate about the consumption of meat, he stresses the need for high-quality protein in the diet. Dr. Hyman introduces the concept of the exposome, which encompasses all the factors that influence an individual's biology, including diet, exercise, stress, and environmental toxins. He explains how these factors can impact gene expression and contribute to health outcomes. He also discusses epigenetics, which explores how experiences and exposures can influence gene expression across generations, highlighting the importance of understanding one's ancestral influences on health. Dr. Hyman introduces Function Health, a platform that empowers individuals to take control of their health by providing access to comprehensive biological data and personalized health insights. Through advanced testing and AI-driven analysis, Function Health offers a holistic approach to optimizing health and well-being. By leveraging technology and data, individuals can track their biomarkers, identify health issues, and receive tailored recommendations for improving their health. Dr. Hyman reflects on the individuals who have had a significant impact on his life, both living and deceased. He credits Jeffrey Bland, a nutritional biochemist and pioneer in functional medicine, for shaping his approach to health and wellness. He also acknowledges Henry David Thoreau, a transcendentalist writer and philosopher, whose work on nature and philosophy has influenced his perspective on life and well-being. 